Hi, uh, this is Mel with Patriot Gardens, and we're doing a couple different videos and things now that we're telecommuting and just trying to figure out how we get you some pertinent information from the comforts of our own home. Uh, this is my backyard. My daughter, Ellie, is <laughs> videoing this for me because I am not technologically advanced, <laughs> but at 12, she, she definitely is. With that said, um, what we're gonna try to do is uh, provide a few videos here and there as she's out of school and I'm working from home. Uh, the first thing I wanna talk about today is uh, composting. A lot of composting happens directly out of your own kitchen. What I have here is my little compost bin that I'm able to take any food scraps uh, from what I'm making at home, uh, a lot of salads and things like that. And I have this convenient little composter that actually works more like just a carrying vessel to get that uh, product from my kitchen back out into my garden space. So not really composting with it, but it actually provides a place for things to go. With that said, it's got a little filter on top so it doesn't stink up the entire house. Ellie, have you even known that this existed? <laughs> She's never seen this in her life, has no idea that I have it in my kitchen. With that said, take, take a pick down in. These are some scraps that I've been collecting this past week. So what I wanna talk about is how can you take these everyday items and actually incorporate them into your garden space? This is a large raised bed that Els and I have out back. And um, something as simple as coffee pods, what Probably anybody who's telecommuting at this point, if you have a Keurig, you have 10,000 of these laying around. Uh, instead of just throwing them away, what you can do is, here's my little vessel. Take your coffee pod. If you got fingernails like I do, you can rip directly that top layer of the pot off. Elsa's is gonna get you a good shot of this. With that said, you've got coffee all your coffee that you know was utilized to make your coffee these grounds can go directly into your compost you also have this filter that's inside of course you've got a lot of coffee still attached to it i usually just shake that off and set that aside you see i've got a little pile going over here um I'm gonna try to incorporate that into my bed this time and see if it'll break down. I'm not for certain if I wanna include those from here on out, but it, it's something we can, we can see how uh, they break down over time. With that said, now in my little carry-on, I have coffee that I've collected this entire week so far. And I've got some greens that, um, I had left over from some salads and everything that I'd made, not, not post application of dressing, but as you start filtering through, you, you see what lettuce is good and what isn't or what greens you wanna eat and what you don't. So anything you cast aside, I stick down in here. What I have been doing with my raised bed, Els, you wanna take a shot in here? What I've been doing with my raised bed throughout this winter actually is as we've had anything to cast aside, be it we have usually endless supplies of bananas and blueberries and strawberries and blackberries and raspberries, and Ellie can only eat things so quickly. So when we have those left over, I bring them out here um, into the raised bed and just kind of sprinkle them across or dig holes and put them down in. Um, I have entire full bananas in this bed. I'm not going to dig them up because they would be disgusting by now but they're going to help add that potassium to this raised bed soil and then before i go into my uh you know late spring early summer plantings then i'll, I'll add some additional soil on top of this but this is giving me a really really good layer of organic matter that's in my bed just waiting for those roots to get established for my tomatoes and peppers and all the great things that we're going to grow so with that said, with this mixture that I have, what I'm gonna do is a trench method for composting. So all you're gonna do is in your bed, dig a hole or a furrow 
and then all of this material is going to lay down in that and get covered back up and it's just going to de decompose and compost in essence in your raised bed so instead of having to establish a full-on composter somewhere else or vermicomposting or whatever it might be i'm just going to do it on my raised bed so it's a lot easier I'm fairly lazy when it comes to my gardening. That's why I have all these raised beds and things directly out my kitchen. But um, this will allow all that work to be done right in the raised bed where I'm gonna need it later. So Ailes, come over here. And what we're gonna do, barehanded, I don't like gloves. I don't like anything keeping me away from that soil. What I'm gonna do is dig a hole. Oh, see, tomatoes. We already had tomatoes. Those will germinate and I'll have starts. And I just uncovered a sweet potato, <laughs> like a large sweet potato. <laughs> we'll come back to him later. Look, see it? He's rotting, so he'll, he'll be good for later. <laughs> but you can see that my beds have a lot of random things in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig a good trench and then I'm gonna take, it's got lettuce. I've probably got some strawberry caps, something else that's rotted in here, awesome. <laughs> the papers, like I said, I'll, I'll go ahead and add some of them because I wanna see how they break down. And then you see all of those coffee grounds. So we're gonna pour that in. And then I'm just going to cover it back up. I've got some of the leaves still that I've been adding to my bed. Any of that just goes back in. Pull some of the other soil back across. And then we just let nature take its course. So very simple. We don't need to overly complicate things. But as we have things like the K-cups and the coffee, it's all going to be things that while we're all kind of biding our so as we're all kind of biding our time trying to figure out uh, how we can keep ourselves occupied, this is a good way to be able to get out into your garden space, be utilizing some of your waste stream that you're probably producing on the daily. Um, we go through a lot of coffee in this household, especially during this time when. Uh, we're kind of a captive audience, um, but, but trying to make the most out of what we have and be good stewards at the same time. So thank you guys for watching and you'll see Ellie and I quite a bit here during this quarantine and uh, get outside, get your hands dirty and try to make the most of this time at home. Thanks, bye.